heal a relationship or fix the broken marriage and possibly couples therapy, if that may help. Infidelity in marriage, if that's been a problem. Rekindling the old love, saving your relationship. And I'm gonna share a principle with A Course in Miracles today and maybe there's some marriage tips where family counseling may help. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer and thanks for joining me again for another Everyday Miracles moment on video. And previously I shared information with you about trying to save your relationship and addressing the issues when at the end of the line, and it seems maybe perhaps too disastrous and too hard to handle alone. By the way, as you're listening to me in the description area down below is a link called the Heal Relationship Now link and it uh, gives you access to some wonderful free content on seeking uh, marriage help, marriage tips, marriage therapy perhaps if needed. So I hope that you'll check that out, take a look at it. But being openly honest is the heartbeat of great communication and is our way of getting our own thoughts, hopes, worries, fears, and ideas across to another person. You know, if we do not openly communicate, our partners have no chance of knowing what's going on within us, what's bothering us. They have no, no, you know, no chance of knowing what we expect on the other hand as well and exactly you know, what we want, what we desire or require or prefer or yearn for from the relationship. Speaking of that, you can read more on my blog about the subject of can a relationship be saved if nothing else is working. And the link to that is also down below in the description area down below. Now you might have to click on show more to expand that area at YouTube open, but the link to that detailed article is there for you. You know, you should be able to be ready to talk to one another, to interact freely and truthful, truthfully about your expectations in order to keep common relationship problems to a minimum and to preserve a happy, healthy, long-term relationship. Keep in mind that the Course in Miracles states, very simple principle, this is the time for faith. You let this goal be set for you. And I'm gonna repeat that, but also keep in mind that I've written, I've noted that in the description area as well for you, so you can jot that down later if you want. The Course in Miracles states this simple, important principle. This is the time for faith. You let this goal be set for you. You know, below I'm gonna mention here a couple of what I call the loving rocks of the rose garden. And these simple to understand rocks, solid rocks, are the standard cornerstones embracing every fantastic lasting love relationship that the world has ever known. So exactly what are they? Number one, the, the first rock we can say is being open-minded with one another. Number two, the next rock is, is a solid element called loyalty. Number three, then there is honest and open discussion. And then next, the, the final rock, which there's many more rocks, but these are the primarily, primary love rocks of the rocks in the rose garden, is generosity. Be generous towards one another. If you feel your relationship is lacking something, there is no time better than now to start placing those rocks in your rose garden, especially immediately. Why now and not later? Well, that's simple because due to the fact that tomorrow may perhaps just be too late and you would hate to lose out on being able to spend many, many more years together of healing and satisfied togetherness. Don't you agree with that? You know, thanks for watching and I hope this hit home a little bit with you. And if it did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more topics that I, that I discuss almost daily. And I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and all the natural beauty that is within you and that you just need to extend your inner awesomeness to the material world, making your life situation much better and the world a better place as well. Thanks again. I've got to run. Until next time, God bless.